Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm gonna to show you how to remove and reinstall this intake tube on this 2007 Mini Cooper S. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1aauto.com. All right, we're gonna take these four 10 millimeter bolts out. We'll use a 10 millimeter socket, extension, and a ratchet. Keep in mind this one is shorter than the other ones. So the nut that is in, secured into the plastic on the back side of this headlight assembly where this bolt screws, screws into just keeps spinning. It's corroded. So there's a little Torx screw underneath here, a T20. We're gonna use a T20 Torx socket extension and a ratchet, and we're gonna pull that out. Right, so pull that screw out. Normally your headlight would just pop out. Um, ours stripped. This uh, little nut thing was um, stripped, spinning in the plastic and eventually melted and just came right out. So you wouldn't normally have to take all this stuff off. So we're just gonna keep on going. To remove the headlight, there's some clips up here on the connector. Just push down on the top and push up on the bottom. Just wiggle the connector back and forth. There you go, see? So there's a lock on the top and the lock also on the bottom. Pull those out. Over here on the inside, there's a headlight washer. You just push this little button down to get the hose on. Slide it off just like that. And on the back side here, I'm just gonna take, you can use a wider screwdriver. This is just a scraper tool. You wanna get underneath here. Just pry, there's some locks in there. And then there's a lock on the other side. So just pull that out there. And then on this side, underneath here, some locks right here. Try to maneuver this out. It's just locked on the inside here. I'm just gonna try to get that off. That's loose. Slide it back. I can pull it up. I'm just gonna twist it, try to get it out of my way. Pull that, set that aside. Now that that's in, we can slide this intake ducting back through here. I'm gonna go past this part first. So that I can get it in down here. Once that's locked in, pull this back a little bit. And then 
slide this in. Might have to wiggle it a little bit. And this piece actually popped off, so I'm just gonna press that back in. So the lower um, bolt of the headlight was just spinning. The nut was had come loose out of this bracket right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up a nut and then try to get it to melt the plastic and hopefully stay so that we can re-secure this headlight. This might work, it might not. All right, so I'm just gonna heat the nut up, get it nice and warm. It's gonna be getting pretty hot because the plastic's starting to steam a little bit. So, push this on, try not to breathe in the smoke. Slide this in. Just like that. And then we're gonna let it cool. So our trick worked, melting the nut into this little bracket. Um, and it's a good thing I left this bolt through here because some of the plastic actually melted to the bolt. So we left it in the uh, freezer for about 10 minutes and uh, it's um, all um, cured up and it appears to be working properly. So that'll, uh, that'll, that'll fix up the situation. We'll be able to reinstall our headlight. So this is what one looks like in the vehicle. It's a little like threaded insert in there and that was just spinning in this. So now we just have a nut that's in there that we melted in there. So we'll reinstall this. You can probably buy these, but we, for time, restraints we had to just modify ours so I'll just slide this back here slide this into position once that's in position I'll take this little bracket stick that back on there that just holds it in place I'll use this torque screw this is a t20 and we'll just snug it down. Now we'll reinstall the headlight assembly. We're gonna connect up the washer. Just line that up, lock it in place. Put the electrical connector, line that up, lock it down. Headlight in position. We'll take these bolts. The short short bolt's gonna go right here. Longer bolt over here. Another long bolt right here. With the last bolt, I am going to use a little bit of anti-seize on this one. This is going to go into that bracket that we modified so that it doesn't get stuck in there again. Take our 10 millimeter, eight millimeter. Take a 10 millimeter socket extension and a ratchet. Actually, I'm gonna start this top one first. Get that one in position so you can kind of see where the headlight was before you took it out.
We'll just snug that up. And we'll snug up the two front ones. Just snug. Snug. And then this, snug this last one up. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.